We're gonna start with guys here and welcome to a Black Ops 3 voiceover commentary. And this little uh, commentary is gonna be about uh, Call of Duty World War II. And uh, so far we don't have much about Call of Duty World War II. But uh, we do know that there's gonna be a reveal trailer on Wednesday, which is the 26th of April. Um, but I don't really have much to talk about. About We don't have much to talk about World War II. But there have been some other pictures going around of a private beta. I'm not going to put the pictures up because I don't want to get striked from Activision. But there are going to be a, a couple of pictures uh, of the tra trailer because I can tell you the time. I don't remember the time. But um, yeah, in the background, you're watching some Black Ops 3 gameplay from me. And uh, this, this gameplay is actually doing pretty stupid because this is actually the second match that I had to do because the first match was just... Just, just, just terrible. You don't really want to know. But um, what I was mainly doing in this gameplay was trying to get my headshot challenges done. But I don't think I got any headshots with the VMB, so I just switched get guns. But off topic. Well, back on topic. Uh, World War Two. We like when I woke up this morning, I looked at my Twitter, well, my notifications from Twitter, and uh, I fo I'm following Charlie Intel, and it's giving me all the notifications of their tweets, and. Uh, I got one this morning saying that there it will be a co-op campaign, but it will be an original and completely new story, which I think is pretty cool. So it's going to be like completely original off of Sledgehammer's heads. So it's not going to be anything about World War II probably. It's probably going to be some aspects of World War II, but there's not much. But I also had some ideas for a campaign mission in World War II, which would... Wait, look, campaign is one of my favorite things in Call of Duty, except for the recent ones, like Call of Duty well, Black Ops 3, which is the game you're watching right now, and Infinite Warfare. That's the, pre that's so far the recent ones, and their campaigns are pretty bad. For Black Ops 3, you have to literally search up how, what, what the story is, because it's extremely confusing. For Infinite Warfare, it's, I mean, it looks cool, but I just can't get into it. It's just... Completely different, but um, yeah, sorry, but there is uh, there's also a couple pictures going around about some they're they're pretty low res, but there's some pictures of guns in the game, and uh, I would put them on screen. Well, I am going to put them on screen, but uh, you'll see those it, later, and uh. I also got some of these, well, mainly got most of these sources from Twitter and YouTube. I got some from other YouTubers, such as Hollow Point, Chaos, and some other pictures I found, like, well, from Xbox, not Xbox, but from Twitter, Instagram, there's some, there's some on Instagram, but not much on Instagram, mainly Twitter. Twitter is mainly where all the leaks go up, go, for Call of Duty, anyway. But... In other news, we also got uh, some confirmation, not exactly confirmation, but we got some hints toward a DLC 5 for Black Ops 3, which I think is true, but it most likely won't happen this year, or at least this early in the year. It might happen toward Christmas or toward the release of World War 2. Which I hope you guys are excited for, because I'm extremely excited about. Because I changed my, uh, crap. Well, I want to change my background on YouTube to it, like the, like the guy holding, like the cover art. Um, also have some pic. Also try to put some picture links in the description so you can download those pictures and make them, like make them your profile picture on anything or channel banner or anything like that. Anything of that sorts. But, um... There are probably gonna be... But, back to the beta. Um... I think the private beta is only for a select few. I think it's like what Injustice 2 did. Because when I first signed up for Injustice 2 beta, I had to... Well, it was a closed beta. And... Only way you could get in, only select a number of... Well, actually not that many people got to play it, but I did. And you had to well, sign into injustice.com, then you had to put your email in it, and then you had to wait. And I waited three times. I put one in three times. 
and luckily my, I think my second one got one because that was I got it in January I think actually hold on let me check really quick I don't know if you can hear the click clack in the in the background because it should tell me the last time I used, last time I played it doesn't oh I just thought it'd tell me but um also guys put in the, put in the comments down below if you want to see some uh well some more like if you want to see rise son of rome because nick and i played some last night and he i don't know if he liked the game or not but i like it and let me know if you want to see some some uh campaign or uh, multiplayer most likely campaign because campaign is really really good like it's really good i haven't seen a campaign that good for, for a long time but back to world war ii my idea for world war ii for a campaign mission oh yeah you can see the pictures right there that's the world i reveal trailer and that was for i was on block ops 3 as soon as i logged into block ops 3 that popped up and i believe the one before was the actual pic was the hd picture that i downloaded from uh twitter and i'm starting to go a little off topic i don't really do these commentaries that much last time i did one was sometime last year i was for justice one although that was just a test really but if you guys are liking these commentaries let me know because i'm I want to learn how to do it properly, because I don't really do them that much, but if I had the right tools to do a good commentary, I would, like, so that way you didn't have to, like, I could still put music in the background stuff, although I probably going to do that anyway, but I also put the, uh, I also put a link to the, to the background music you hear down in the description, it's, it took me a while to find it, but I found it, and it's actually really good, um, but there's two versions of it. There's an extended, there's an extended one which has the same song, but it cuts off, then it plays it again. And there's one that's actually extended. It's just continuously for five minutes. And this one's gonna be the ten minute version. So let me know if you wanna like that one. Also, look at this guy. Look at this guy on the bed. Just look at him. What was he planning on doing there? Like, why would you just camp on the edge of the bed? I mean, seriously, I don't even do that. But, um, I don't really know what to talk about, because I don't really have much to talk to you guys about, about World War II. And I already know that I might get a comment saying, oh, you're just using this for views. No, I'm not. I'm actually legit trying to talk to you guys about it, because I'm extremely excited. But... I don't think I told you guys my idea for a campaign mission. Okay, so my idea is for the first mission, you will for it to be in chronological order. So you start from 1939 to 30 to well the 45. So like in 1939, you invade Poland as a German, which might be a little controversial to others, but if Sledgehammer's really wanted to make this the best Call of Duty game that they've ever made, they're gonna have to take some risks to make it one of the best Call of Duties ever. And I was thinking for the per for a Pearl Harbor mission, which in the beginning, you're just a normal driver and you get to actually take control of the car, but you can only like accelerate it and turn it the proper way. But Or you can just walk or you can be a citizen on the sidewalk and walking to Pearl Harbor. See, this is the picture I was telling you guys about. That's the... Uh, that's actually one of my favorite pictures of it. I really like it. I like, I hope it's the cover art for it, but I don't know. And now you guys are watching some campaign. I tried to do one of my favorite missions, but it got a little laggy. So, but other than that, back to topics. Uh, I was thinking that you're a citizen walking on the streets and then you hear planes flying over and you think, okay, maybe it's just our plane. And then one d nose dives into the USS Arizona, which is the boat that sank the uh, aircraft carrier. I think it's an aircraft carrier. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's a uh, aircraft carrier, but it might be a battleship. I don't exactly remember. But um, and then you got and then you switch to a navy, a naval officer.
Okay, sorry about that. I cut off for a second. But then you control of a naval officer and you shoot down Japanese planes or kamikaze pilots. But, um... Uh... What was I gonna say? But then you take care of those and then you one of them nose dives into your position and then you swap to a plane in the air of uh, a pilot. Uh, air, uh, U.S. pilot, not a Japanese pilot. But, um... And then you fight off as many as you can, and then, and then you go to the White House as a security guard and tell them we need to go to war with Japan. And then you, well, you don't play as FDR, but if it was possible, you could play as FDR. And you could sign the you could sign it and say we'll declare war on Japan or give them the call to declare war on Japan. And then, well, that's basically the Pearl Harbor mission. But, for the reveal trailer on Wednesday, I hope to see a flamethrower, because I love using the flamethrower back in World of War. That was one of my favorite guns to use. Well, you had to unlock it from being level 65? I don't remember. I think you had to be max prestige. But, I know you can get in zombies, which was pretty cool. But, um... But other than that, uh, I don't know what to talk to you guys about anymore. But this video is going to go on for another 8 minutes, but I think I'm just going to talk about some random stuff that's, that I plan on doing for the channel. Okay, so, first task. I was thinking on Saturdays and Sundays, which today is Saturday, for me, and when this video is uploaded, I stream on Saturday and Sundays of a certain game. In today's game, I'll be streaming two times a day. And the first game today will be The Walking Dead Season 2, so we can finish the second episode. And then the, the next game will be, it will most likely be, let me see, Let's see what games I can do. Uh, maybe uh, Skyrim, maybe? Or Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, one of them. Either one of them. Or Injustice Gods Among Us, if you guys want. Okay, so your options are for the second stream are Skyrim, Black, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Injustice Gods Among Us, or Battlefield 1. Those are your choices. I'll try to put them on screen. And, um, but anyway. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. My throat's a little clogged from this cough still. But, um, I think I'm just going to end this episode here, and you guys just enjoy some background music and rest of the gameplay. I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Don't forget to vote in the comments down below for what game you want to see streamed today or tomorrow. Alright, I'll, I'll see you all later.